last year's record snow was huge for businesses that handle supplies used to tackle winter. And this year's record warmth has shut off that cash flow to places like hardware stores and small engine shops. Meteorologist Dave Anderson checked in with his weather colleagues to see if any relief for snow-starved outdoor enthusiasts is coming. This is a sign of the times, a closeout sale on salt. This year's winter has more blacktop and grass than snow. Last year's record-breaking snow totals meant a completely different story. Last year, we ordered, 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 and couldn't get trucks fast enough. This year, oof, surplus of salt. A super El Nino, which means temperatures averaging more than 2 degrees Celsius above normal, has dried us up. And it has warmed us up towards record territory. In Duluth, this is likely going to be the second warmest winter on average. Uh, 1877 to 78 actually holds that title. That's why backlog salt bags are hurting the bottom lines of mom and pop hardware stores like Denny's Ace Hardware in Duluth. Oh, it definitely, it puts a little, yeah, it's slower. You know, weather always drives business. Across Woodland Avenue at Denny's Lawn and Garden, no longer a part of the same family as the hardware store, El Nino has staff seeing sales slow down dramatically. We sure have it. Uh, the middle of December on, it's pretty much uh, dried up. It's just like the snow. There's no snow. There's no business. There's also no business for those who make a living plowing snow. At least other businesses can try to boost sales with sales. Both Denny's Hardware and the Lawn and Garden are offering discounts. Meteorologist Tony Nargi doesn't offer much relief for the snow drought. El Nino may linger through March. We're actually expecting us to go El Nino neutral by April and then eventually into La Nina by the summer. La Nina has its own can of worms we'll talk about later. In Duluth, meteorologist Dave Anderson, Northern News Now. Dave, thank you. Now, Minnesota's DNR climatologists say most areas in the state have received less than 50% of their normal snowfall through the middle of February. The stats are pretty similar for Wisconsin and the UP.